this team might be cold. All right, so what is up, y'all? It's Legendary EA back here for another rebuild, and today we will be doing the 1990-91 Los Angeles Lakers. Now, this was requested to me by a subscriber, and I'll make sure, if I remember, I will make sure to leave his comment right there just to show some love. I love you guys. <laughs> like, no homo. You guys are awesome, though. Like, I'm, I'm not going to front. And for another one of these videos, make sure to go ahead and get 275 likes for another one of these rebuilds. I think they're really awesome to actually put a historic team in the modern day era. Let me know how you guys think that I can make my videos better. And if you guys have any ideas, leave them down in the comment section below. But other than that, y'all, just continue just to keep showing tremendous love on all these videos. You guys are what keeps me pushing and just keeps me just want, just want to get better. And yo, we hit 23K. And now we on that road to 30k. You guys already know I, I said it in one of my previous videos on that road to 30k. We almost there. We almost there. We just got to keep grinding and we're going to hit it eventually. So I do plan on doing some my team and some my park this week. Let me know if you guys are interested in this. Just let me know in the comment section below. Put do my team or, or just whatever. But anyway, somebody did leave me a request to do the 1991 Los Angeles Lakers. So I did re replace the Monday Lakers. And some people do want me to put all of the teams of the same year or like within the same era on one roster and just rebuild one team. Let me know if you guys are interested in that. And or if you guys want to see a historic or future rebuild, let me know too. But let's get started. So we are here with this team. You already know we got Magic Johnson, 32 years old. We got James Worthy, Vlade Divac. I probably said his name wrong. We got AC Green. Byron Scott, the man himself who destroyed the Lakers, Sam Perkins, Larry Drew, Eldon Campbell, and, you know, some auto-generated. Oh, we got Michael Thompson here, though. Hmm, so this team might be really interested, interesting to rebuild. And you guys are know how I always do. I do want to see how this team can do just without me even doing anything. So let's see if this team can break the NBA without me making any types of changes. And at the end of season number one, Russell Westbrook back with his, you know, triple-double some light stuff and yo Vladi Divac is the defensive player of the year somehow but somehow this Lakers team did kill it he did average 11 points 11 rebounds three blocks and yo this dude was uh, he, he, he might have been killing it and coach of the year was Terry Scott so I was kind of surprised I, I guess Magic carried us or something or not we really there, there, there's no Lakers on any of these teams except Vlade and that's it that we were the third seed, though I don't even know how, but we were the third seed. I was expecting this to like be at the bottom of the bear, but it looks like this team did really, really well. So as far as the stats go, we were led in points by Magic Johnson, 23 points a game, 8 rebounds, 11 assists, 2 steals. James Worthy was, okay, so this team was actually really, really nice. So let's actually see if we can keep this thing going throughout the playoffs. I'm not expecting this to win a championship, but in year number two, I definitely am. So let's look at these contracts. Contract-wise, we are... We are good at to be honest except i might have to make some trades we'll come but we'll do that when it comes time but as far as the thunder i think we can definitely beat the thunder uh yo <sighs> yeah magic he has to he has to kill russ he's like six seven but up against the portland trail I, I still think that i still think that magic is a mismatch to every single point guard as we go ahead and we win we might actually be, we might actually be able to win the championship in year one up against the warriors if they take game one they take game two, and you guys already know how it goes. We get swept. So the Warriors do go on to win the championship, but don't worry. We coming for that revenge. We are definitely coming for that revenge. And, yo, nobody's retiring, right? All right, that's a bet because we got to make some major moves this coming offseason. So heading into free agency, okay, we got to make a trade. They, we have some nice, nice players here. We got KD, Steph Curry, Blake Griffin. Yo, Blake Griffin would honestly be great on this team. So let's see if we can actually make any types of moves. Yo, AC has to go. So let's see if the Sixers are willing to trade Joel Embiid for AC Green in two first. Nah? Really, fam? All right, how about I throw in him? Bruh. All right, another second round pick. Another second round pick. I will, I will do this trade. Okay, so we, we picked up Joel Embiid. Probably going to be playing him at power forward. So that should leave us a little bit of money. Let's also see if we can trade away... Let's trade Perkins away. And we're going to send Perkins over to the Warriors for two, for two first. All right, so now we should be able to make some moves. And let's see who we can pick up in free agency. So this is our lineup for season number two. Magic Johnson, Tony Allen, James Worthy, Serge Ibaka, and Joel Embiid. So I do want to make a few changes and get a better starting shooting guard. But that's about it. I'm, I'm not going to lie. So let's see if we can find anybody who's willing to even come here. 
So we just made a crazy trade and we picked up Lonzo Ball, bruh. So we traded Byron Scott, all of our picks in return for Lonzo Ball. And I think that that can definitely help us out. I think he's, yeah, I'm going to play him at shooting guard for sure. And backup point. His overall is still the same, but having Lonzo Ball, that should help us out a lot. And I'm, yeah, I, I don't want to, I don't want to release him. But yo, Lonzo Ball on this team he might be able to make some moves. So let's see what this team can do at the end of season number two. And we might be one step closer to a championship. If we were that close last season, we definitely should be contender worthy this season. I mean, without a doubt. And at the end of season number two, LeBron's the MVP. Lonzo Ball wins rookie of the year for us, averaging 13 points, eight assists, and two steals. Yo, he was balling out of control. Or anybody else from our team. And Kevin McHale, our coach, is coach of the year with a record of 63 and 19. So we were the best team in the NBA and we were killing it. So as far as the all NBA teams go, we got Matt Johnson on all NBA second team. And that's about it. And obviously we're gonna have Lonzo Ball. But like I said, yo, we were the first seed in this team. Yeah, they were pretty cool. We actually finished nine games above the Jazz and the Golden State Warriors were the fourth seed, and they were 11 games behind us. So as far as the stats go, we were led in points by Matt Johnson once again. Obviously, he's putting up those numbers just, just like he did in the 90s. Lonzo Ball was our third, and James Worthy was our second. And Joel Embiid came the ball on this team too, but we had a great backup in Vlade, in Vlade Divac. But, yo, this team, I'm not going to even lie. This team was really, really good. But let's just see, because you guys already know how it goes. It doesn't mean anything if we don't win a championship. So round one versus the San Antonio Spurs. And let's see if we can actually get this dub. And we advance in six. Up against Golden State in, in round number two. I can't always trust it, but they take the first two games. We take game three. Bruh. Okay, there, there, might, there might be a comeback. There might be a comeback. Come on, y'all. Please don't let us take an L. Please let Golden State blow another 3-1 lead. And we force a game freaking seven. All right, let's end it off right here. Let's end it. If they blow this, okay. Well, hold on, hold on. Let me not say anything. And they blow another 3-1 lead. And we go ahead and we advance to the conference finals versus the Trailblazers. And they take game one. We take game two. They take three. Oh, snap. Okay, I didn't mean to even do that. But in the NBA Championship versus the Philadelphia 76ers, I think that we might be able to win this award in season number two. And then we're going to go back to back in season number three. But let's see. They KD. Bruh. You just stay switching teams. So they got Kevin Durant, Ben Simmons, Jaleel Kofor, AC Green, Nerlens Noel. Bruh. This team is honestly not that good. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I mean, this, this big three, I, I mean, yes, it's all right. But that means that, okay, <laughs> Magic's going to kill Brandon Jennings. But they do take game one. We take game two. They take, all right, bruh. Bruh. Chill out. I need us to come back. Come on. Won't we need to expose another team one more time? We need to come back from a 3-1 league one more time, y'all. Please. <sighs> Can we do it? Ah, oh, it's not looking too good. And we take an L to the 76ers. Bruh. How we lose to the Sixers though? And for our first trade of the offseason, we will we will be sending Serge Ibaka. He he did alright on our team, two blocks a game. And a second and a first for Bam Adebayo and a first from the Celtics just because we need to clear some, some cap room, fam. I'm trying to I'm trying to sign some free agent, and we, can, we just got to see if we can pull one in. All right, we're going to – bro, I'm getting Paul George on this team. So on day two of free agency, we will be signing LaMarcus Aldridge and Dirk Nowinski, and I think that this does help us. I was going to get Paul G. I, I was going to get Paul George. He doesn't want to come here. And Carmelo Anthony – I'm, I don't. I don't want to pay him. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. And he still doesn't see us as a as a contender somehow. I don't. I don't understand his logic. And for season number three, this is our lineup: Magic Johnson, Lonzo Ball, James Worthy, Lamarcus Aldridge, and Joel Embiid. And off the bench, we got Vlade Divac, Bam Adebayo, Dirk, Tony Allen, and okay, let's let's run a ten man rotation. I I haven't done one of those. I do want to see if I can make any type of trades just to get a better backup point guard. But let's just see, cause I don't, I don't really know. Let's see if the Suns are willing to give up Devin Booker for this trade, and we managed to pull in D Book. All right, so that does help us out a little bit, and I, and I'm, I'm gonna put Lonzo Ball back at backup point guard. This should help us a lot, to be honest. So let's try this out, Lonzo Ball, backup point guard. 
overall still an 81 so let's see so for season number three this will be our starting lineup what yo chill out we're not we're not doing that put magic back in that starting lineup yeah we're not we're not gonna do that though all right yeah, let, let's try this lineup out. Let's see how this team can do. So for season number three, this lineup will be Magic Johnson, Devin Booker. The same lineup, except Lonzo Ball will be our sixth man. Now, last year, we did get robbed of a championship. I don't plan on letting that happen again. And at the end of season number three, Steph Curry is the MVP. And did we get any awards this year? Nothing? We really got nothing. Did any Lakers make any of these teams? Nope. Wow. So we were the second seed in the Western Conference. Led in points by Devin. Dang, Magic's points dropped like a mofo. He's 34 years old. It's probably his last season. So, but let's just see if we can actually win this championship. So we finished two games behind the Warriors. Beat everybody in the East. We just need to make it out of the West, and then we should be good. So in round one, we're taking on the Clippers. You guys are another team. The team that never works. The team that's about to get swept. And they do. So up in round two versus the Trailblazers. I don't think that Dame Dollar can even handle this team. As we take the first two games, the first three games, bye-bye. Say bye, guys. <gasps> yeah, yes. James Harden stay coming in clutch. And we will be taking on the four-seed Rockets. Yo, let's, let, let's give it to him. And we beat them in five. Let's freaking go. <laughs> That's all we really needed because I think that we can definitely beat this Cavaliers team. Led by LeBron James. I just... Nah, we, we, we got to beat this team. Let's compare rosters, man. We, we got to beat this team. So up against the Cleveland Cavaliers in the NBA Finals, we take game one. They take game two. Oh, my goodness. Bro, oh, my. Wow. Are we? Wow. Wow. We're down 3-1 again. I don't even know. We, we got to be able to win this championship, y'all. Come on, y'all. Please clutch this thing out. Clutch it out, please. All right, so we force a game, bruh, force a game seven. Please, Magic, go off. I need y'all just go off and force a game seven. Okay, so we crushed them. Why? Then why were we down 3-1 if we were, we were going to force this the entire time? It makes no sense. It for real makes no sense. So game seven, can y'all please not blow this? Please, y'all. Please, y'all. Come on. Come back. We're so close. I don't know. Come on. There we go. Come on, y'all. I'm taking this slow. Come on, y'all. Hold on to the lead, please. Hold on to it. Yes! <laughs> Let's go! We beat them by one point. James Ward just drops 27. Magic with 26 and 9. That's what I freaking needed. And we win the NBA playoffs from being down 3-1. Yo, LeBron, how it feel, though? So, Matty Johnson was our finals MVP. Yo, he's, I don't know why. We, we, we won four straight games, and they were terrible at first. But these are my settings, you guys. Same thing as usual. We came back from a 3-1 lead. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you guys did, make sure to go ahead and slap that like button and show some love and some support. And let me know what other rebuilds you guys want me to do next, H historic, present day, or future. Doesn't matter. I'll still do it. And if you guys have been telling me in the comment section below and I've not done it already, keep spamming it up in my videos. And I promise you guys I will get to it. So this was our final roster. Magic Johnson, Joel Embiid, James Worthy, Devin Booker, LaMarcus Aldridge, Lonzo Ball, Vlade Divac, Bam Adebayo, Dirk Nowitzki, Tony Allen, Dwayne Dedman, Norris Cole, and Nene. Yo, this team was too cold. It was too cold. And even though we got hold in that second year and we and we lost in the first year, we were able to finish this thing out with the NBA championship to add to, to Magic's collection. So if we if we put this in, in, in real time, he probably would have like six championships or so. But other than that, y'all, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And like I said before, if you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to go ahead and leave a like on the video. And if you guys are not subscribed, come on, fam. Y'all got to subscribe. You guys have got to subscribe and join Team EA. Join the family. Join the family. It's lit over here. We do rebuilds, my team, and, and, and all that fun stuff. But other than that, y'all, make sure to go ahead and join Notification Squad so you guys can know exactly when I upload these videos. And until next time, y'all, it's your boy Legendary EA. And I'm out. Peace, y'all. I've been with you since day one. Savage, I ain't even hate. So what's up without an Instagram shit? Savage, I was to plan. Y'all pussy nigga fake. Bitch, I hang around them Haitians. Pull up on your tight.